Captain Mike's Rigging Station. First and foremost, you got to chum. If you chum, they will come. That's the bottom line. So whatever area you get to, wherever you're going to be looking for these mackerel, you know, you've got to chum. Get a couple of chum blocks, put them in a big chum bag, do a couple of figure eights, circle around the area that you want to fish before you ever even stop the boat. Get that scent in the water and working for you immediately. And it shouldn't take too long for any mackerel in the area to slowly gather in that chum slick, okay? You're gonna be anchored, you're not gonna be drifting. This is not a game of drifting. It's a game of sit and wait for the fish to come to you and to congregate in your chum slick. Have plenty of chum because you may go through quite a bit of it if you have a lot of current, you don't know. So don't go out there with one seven pound block. Think cases, don't think small boxes, okay? Now understand, once you're on the anchor, and once you're chumming, now again, it's just a matter of waiting for the mackerel to show up. I'm gonna keep my eye out for birds because birds are a great indication that mackerel are in the area. They're pushing the bait fish up toward the surface. So even when I'm looking for those mackerel and I'm looking for a place to anchor up, to set up shop, so to speak, I'm always keeping my eye out for the birds. They're gonna lead the way to the action. That's for sure. So I'm anchored up. We're chumming. Now my only focus is in that chum slick coming right off the back of the boat. I'm not casting over there. I'm not casting over there. I'm not casting up there off the bow. I'm just casting right behind the boat. And understand, you're gonna cast a lot. This is not a game of sit and wait. You're throwing baits, you're working baits, a lot of artificials. We're gonna talk about what lures we fish and why. Um, but it's a very active type of fishing that requires you to be actively fishing the entire time. But look, you're not going out there targeting, you know, a 50 to 500 pound fish. That's not what this is. The mackerel are relatively small. You know, they'll range anywhere from two to six pounds. But that's why we keep the tackle very light and very sporty. And that's the key, it's all relative, okay? You're targeting small fish, but they're scrappy. They're a lot of fun to catch on light tackle. They hit hard, they scream line off the reel, you know, again, on the appropriate light gear. But remember, you just never know, because here, especially across the Florida Keys, there are so many different predators that inhabit the same area where it's not uncommon to throw a plug or throw a bait or a jig or whatever it is that you're throwing. And when you're targeting the Spanish mackerel, suddenly a big cobia grabs a bait. So you have to have gear that is relatively heavy enough to handle some of those surprises, but you want to keep it light. 